is a mess. Yes, it is. Oh my God. My hair looks crazy. Okay. Hold on. This is not how I want it set up. Okay. Hold on a moment. Okay. Why am I so late? Well, I honestly wasn't going to come on here if I'm being like super honest. I was going to reschedule for tomorrow, but um, I decided, no, I was definitely going to tell you guys. Um, I was going to post it like a half an hour ago that I'm just going to reschedule because like all day today I've been like putting it off, putting it off and I don't know. I just had this moment where I was like, no, I definitely need to go live. Um, so yeah, here I am. It's going to be a very boring live and that's totes fine. It is what it is. Um, I might do an extra this week because I feel like this live stream is gonna suck so yeah um hello i hope that you guys are doing good um like i really do want to cook for a live stream too so i think that would be fun like i do have ideas in my head i just really need to do them i haven't been taking my medicine very very well you guys um i take medicine for my bipolar anxiety and estrogen so I don't go through my menopause moment and I haven't I don't know I haven't been uh look like you got some sun I actually have been going outside more for sure um but I haven't been taking my medicine good today is the fourth day in a row that I've taken it so we're trying to get back on track with that so um yeah I don't know I've just like emotionally been like drained I've been like overwhelmed I've just I don't know I've been having like mood swings again and I like low-key hate it so we're getting back on track with my meds so that's an update on that um yeah so that's why like you know, when people sit there and say, you don't do anything all day. Well, first of all, you don't, like, you don't know my life. <laughs> you don't know the things I'm going through or what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But people with depression, it doesn't matter, like, what you do every day, what you, where you work, what family you have, who you live with. Depression is just a chemical issue that anyone could have, you know. It has nothing to do with, I mean, there, it, like, surroundings definitely play a role for sure but it's just like I hate when people say that like what do you have to be like depressed about and I'm just like that's really not how it works but I do have a lot of things to be depressed about for sure I don't know I'm just I don't know there's a lot of um things that I am like bottling in here and it's like I've been journaling too and it's like I don't even talk about it like in my journal so I don't know I just feel like the things I want to talk about I don't want to say out loud I don't know like I really did not want to come on here because I knew I was gonna be like emotional and weird so let's like not have this energy and let's move on um what do you guys like want me to talk about um, anything, are you guys following the, um, Gabby, and I'm so bad with names, so, but the Gabby and Brian situation, um, that has been heartbreaking, so, um, someone said when you finally realize you miss your ex, that's definitely not it, um, Becky did officially move out. And it's definitely been weird because it's like she was my best friend for over four years. And that's 
I don't know. It's just crazy because like I lived with her for over four years. Like she's the only person on this planet that knows like absolutely everything about me. So yeah, it's definitely been, it's definitely been weird. So yes, she was my fiance. That still never really felt real. Like, you know, those things, like sometimes things just like, not like so shocking, but like something happens to you in your life and you're like, wow, that did not feel real. Kind of like that. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to see some of these chats that I've skipped. I usually literally am on for my other phone so I can read your guys' chat better. But I've lost my phone. I don't know if you guys remember my last um, live stream. I was like, went to go grab my phone and I couldn't find it. I literally have not found my phone since then. So I have literally no idea where my phone is. It's yeah, that's, yeah. Um, go back to vlogs. I will be. I will be. Hey, Amber, my name is Jade. I turn 20 tomorrow. I love your channel. And I was wondering if you could say happy birthday. Happy freaking birthday, Jade. Oh my God, you're turning 20. Oh, I miss being young. Literally, I miss being young. Um, hi, Amber. It's so sad to see you're not feeling your best. Thinking of you. I was hoping you received your package with the cup today. Hi, Kendra. Um, I actually haven't checked the P.O. box in a little bit, so I'm not sure if I got it or not. Um, the P.O. box will definitely be checked soon. Um, I hope I got it. I'm super excited for sure. Um, let's see. Yeah. 30 is not old. I literally feel super old, so um, I like your heart necklace. Thank you. I love it. It's like super fake, so like it like discolored because I wore this the other day, and it discolored my neck a little bit. But you you just gotta you just literally gotta wash it. You gotta wash that neck. <laughs> um, thirty is long. Do you feel Do you feel old? Yes. <coughs> I have tickets to see Harry Styles next month in concert, but I'm scared to go because of COVID. Um, you just checked and it's delivered. Oh my God. I'm so excited to check the PO box now. Um, my advice, a lot of people, <coughs> sorry, I was trying to stop myself from coughing. A lot of people might disagree with this, but I, I don't think concerts should currently be happening um, because of COVID, <laughs> just because you're vaccinated, like, you could still get COVID, like, you just have a better chance of surviving it, um, so if you're afraid of COVID, you're, you're being smart, like, those people who are just, like, whatever, oh my god, I don't care, like, I just, like, I'm, like, are you serious? Do you not see what's going on in the world right now? Let me take you to get crab legs to cheer you up. Okay, crab legs actually sounds so good. Literally not going to lie. That sounds great. Um, did you mean it when you said you don't have fans? That really hurt a lot of people's feelings. Okay, that makes me sad. I didn't realize that. Um, what I meant by that is like, I don't consider like my supporters fans because... Fans, it just seems very, like, celebrity style. I'm definitely not a celebrity. No one special. Just a mediocre YouTuber who does live streams now. Um, so, I know that I have supporters and I appreciate you guys so much. Like, so, so much. But, like, for you guys to call yourself fans, I don't know. It's just weird because, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I literally am rambling. Rambling, rambling. Love that. Sophie and anyone else who joined Stream Queens tonight, thank you so much for joining. Will Becky be on your live streams anymore? Yeah, I'm sure she will. I want to find my other phone so bad because I feel like it's so much easier to, um, let me look in here. 
I highly doubt it's in here. Literally highly. I've looked everywhere. It's just easier to read the chat. I don't know where it went. I've never been more confused in my life, and I keep looking in the same spots over and over and over. No luck. Okay. Um... No hate, but truly wondering if you knew beforehand you weren't feeling 100%, why not say hours ago and not pe make people wait? Because I was, I don't know. Honestly, it was very still up in the air if I was going to go live or not, and I just didn't know. So I just didn't say anything until I knew for sure. When you ask what we want to talk about you skip a lot of comments you also came off kind of mean in the last live even to your supporters i'm sorry i didn't mean for that to happen um yes people do nitpick everything for sure for sure what do you think about people constantly comparing you to chantelle do you think y'all are like I do think we're similar in certain ways, but we're also very different in other ways. Um, but people compare us because there's not many YouTubers that are like bigger like we are. Obviously, I'm massively bigger than she is, but people are going to compare the, the fatties, if you will. Oh my God. Um, you guys know the group of us, and I think that it's very fat shamey to do that because it's like just because we're all fat doesn't mean like we're grouped together, like should be grouped together because we're all also very different. So, I don't know, I think it's very strange that this community is all obsessed with like the same few fat chicks. And it just kind of goes to show what kind of community this really is. It's not really about us as people at this point. It's about our weight. And I can go more into that, but I really just don't want to. I just don't. <laughs> have you ever watched Lowy Lane? I have. You seem down. I really think you could benefit from a new hobby, part-time job, volunteer work, maybe volunteer at an animal shelter or with kids. That actually sounds amazing. Um... I'd love to volunteer, honestly. Like, when I start driving, for sure gonna do it. I promise. So when I start driving, I think that's, like, an option. Because I do feel like I want to, like, do more things. I want to have more of, like, productivity in my life. Because I feel like I don't have a lot of that in the way that I want. So. Um... What do you think about Hungry Fat Chick? She gets a lot of love and support and very little hate. I think she's great. Do I believe in soulmates? Um, I do. I believe that everyone has more than one soulmate. And I feel like... Um, sorry, I'm like getting distracted. Yes, I do miss working at assisted living facilities. I do. Um... But you can have a soulmate best friend, you can have a soulmate partner, you can have a soulmate pet. I feel like my pets are literally my soulmate pets. I was meant to have them completely. Um, but yeah, definitely believe in soulmates for sure. There's a lot of bigger size YouTubers, not 90% not ninety percent are big, but don't say they aren't. It's just you and Chantel, it feels putting down all other plus size. No, you took what I said and ran with it. Why don't you watch Becky's videos? Probably the same reason she doesn't watch mine. <laughs> like, what? I don't, like, literally, I think, she, like, since I've known her for way over four years. Why I said way over four years? I don't know why I said it like that. Um, almost five years. I think that she has seen maybe three of my videos. <laughs> maybe three. I think my sister is my soulmate. Oh, 
That's super sweet. Your best friend sold me. Um, let's see. Am I spiritual? Um, eh. Like, I believe in the universe. Like, I know a lot of people are like, what? I just believe, like, the universe is what created us and what... Like, I feel like we all have paths. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, our paths are already, like, written out for us. Um, I believe everything happens for a reason, even if we don't know the reason. And we're all meant to meet the people we're meant to meet because it's all part of the path. Any ghost experiences? No. Nope. Um, yes, if you're hearing noises, I do have three pets. I do have three pets. You love ghosts? I don't think I believe in ghosts. Like, I just, I, I don't understand. Like, I feel like if ghosts were real, I feel like there'd be more of them. I feel like, um... Skip this super chat if your dad... Oh, my God. You're crazy. Okay, so... What are we talking about? <laughs> I'm dead. That, like, literally distracted me. Yeah, okay. So, if ghosts were real, I feel like we'd be seeing them more. Like, whether it be in pictures or movies or shows, reality shows. Like, there would just be more, like, proof. And there's just not. A lot of the things that you see online is fake, so. Um, any new shows lately? No. Currently watching season three of Sex Education. That is, like, one of my favorite shows. Like, the characters on that show is so amazing. And how they have so many characters with so many different storylines. But they know how to, like... Keep you entertained without being super confused from so many characters and like everyone gets like a perfect amount of airtime. I don't know, like how they did the show is like so good. I love it. Um, it's just really good. Please send my grandma Anita good thoughts and prayers. She is still in the ICU on a vent, but she is fighting and doing better. Thank you. Yes, please, everyone send Sierra's grandma um, positive vibes, prayers, thoughts, whatever you guys can do. And Sierra, you are definitely in my thoughts. I'm so sorry that you're going through that. I know it's hard. Um, your life is more isolated than it used to be. Are you concerned about this? Um, um, a little, but like I do have the option of driving. So it's not like I'm absolutely incapable. Like, so, yeah. You skip all super chats. No, I don't. Maeve, Otis, or Ruby and Otis? I am... Oh, wait. <sighs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, 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 for sure. I'm definitely Ruby and Otis because I want Maeve with um, that other guy. Where, why can't I? What's his name? I don't remember his name. <laughs> but yeah. You look so down. Are you okay? I mean, for real. I'm okay. Um, <sighs> I don't know. Just kind of down lately my fault because of my medicine and such and I feel like environment plays a large role of that as well um like what I'm doing in my life if that makes sense um, I mean I'd have depression regardless like if I lived in a mansion with all my family like I'd still be depressed not gonna lie not gonna lie Girl, I love you so much. Mm, do you mean your wifey? Because I ain't got no wifey, so. Can we scissor totes my goats? I'd love that. Let's do it. 
<laughs> Just kidding. Um, send them a reminder to take meds. It won't disappear. I know. And then I press like snooze and all this stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God. So. Thank you, Rochelle or Rachel. I appreciate that. Um, have you ever, wait, have you asked your mom for advice on what helped her overcome her addiction issues? The same methods might benefit yours too. Um, do y'all know what time it is? Sorry. I just need to know what time it is. Um, but have I talked to her about that? Sort of in a way, I definitely want to talk to her more about it. I would love to like advice in any sort of way. 9.42. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Love that for me. So we have another lip plumper. This one doesn't like hurt my lips. This is hard candy. I love it. I wore it earlier. So we're good. There's going to be no dramatic moment. You need to actually do more than sit there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, Amber, I want you to know that your channel is a safe space for me. I've been watching you since I was 16. I turned 20 tomorrow and I still love watching you. Oh, that literally just made me so happy. You've been watching me for four years. Thank you. Like literally. Like I appreciate it so much. Of course you can hit on me. Why not? Um, flip the camera around. What is there to see? Nothing really. Okay. The TV is still in my bedroom. We have a bag moment. Nothing really. Nothing really. I'm thinking about buying a TV for out here. Um, it's kind of a mess what you guys just saw, but you know, it's fine. Um, all the plants look so cute. Thanks. I like a little bit of uh, plant vibes. It's like, it like freshens up the room. Like, I don't know. Something about it. You can't be shadow banned on YouTube. I actually talked to the, um, I talked to YouTube about it, like a special like chat area for um, pe like YouTubers, I guess. I don't freaking know. Um, yes, greenery. And they said that you can't get shadow banned on YouTube. Like it's not a thing, so. Lucy, my plants are fake. Woo! Like, I have one real plant, and it's a succulent, succulent, whatever you guys call them. And um, you don't really have to pay any mind to it. So, it's alive and well, and it has been for like a year now. And I don't think I've watered it but one time. I thought it was fake for a minute, <laughs> but then I realized it was real. But, yeah. I'm sorry, but where is a rule that says she has to answer every super chat? Definitely not. I'm not going to answer every super chat. I'm not going to answer every chat. It's not going to happen. It's impossible. So I do the best that I can. And that's that. I didn't have a car for six years while living in Seattle and was anxious to relearn. DMVs now have virtual training so you can refresh yourself. That is so cool. Virtual? Would I be able to do that? Yeah, I'm sorry. My uh, my energy is just low. You know what I've noticed? After like I wash my hair and stuff, if I don't straighten it, like this 
part of my hair and then like this a little bit of like this part is like wavy and curly but it's only like right here and that's it everywhere else is straight sometimes right here too I'm just like, what is going on? My hair is so weird. I don't know. Are you and Becky doing okay as friends? Do you ever get sad about what happened between you and Becky? I feel like our friendship lately isn't as strong as it was in the beginning. I don't know why. I'm, I'm personally trying to figure it out because, like... I care about her and I want everything to be good between us, obviously. Um, I think that she's just really stressed out right now. So, hmm, makes me sad. And I'm helping in the best way that I can help. So. Um, did you go to Ricky and Eric's over the weekend? I did. Um, did you see the parody Willow Davis made? No. It's like a video game with the seat controls and steering wheel and gives you real world situations. Okay. Totes gonna do that. That sounds honestly so fun to me. Um, make a cameo. Yeah, I've been told to do that. I don't know. I just feel weird doing that. Rank these names. Alana, BB, Kevin Hunter. Okay, so BB's first, just cause why not? Why not? Then Alana, then Hunter, then Kevin. You need to go slower on the back of your hair. It's bumpy because you're rushing. No, my hair is not straight. Like this is just how it naturally dried. Like I didn't straighten it or anything. It's just like, I don't know. It just is wavy. My hair has never been wavy before. So, and it's just been happening all the time now. I know that's like so weird, but like, when did this, when did this start? Like truly, if you guys have been watching me for a hot minute now, you know that I don't have wavy hair. It's barely wavy. Well, okay, but I'm saying my hair is naturally super pin straight. So it's weird that it randomly has happened for like over a month now. That's all I was saying. So calm down. You'll be okay, I promise. Um, I want to get Vax. Can I ask why you chose Moderna? I would love to answer that question, actually. So I chose Moderna because I... I wanted to make sure I was getting the right vaccine for people who are my size. I feel like that was the most important thing to me. And they said that Moderna um, is better for bigger people. And it has noticeably, by statistics and experience, been the best for people my size. And also... Um, you get less sick with the Moderna. Like I had no symptoms besides my arm hurt, under my armpit hurt, and that's literally it. Like I didn't get sick or anything. Um, I don't know. Moderna just felt good. I wasn't scared to get it. Like I was like, I'm very proud of the decision I'm making. So yeah, I don't know. That's why I chose it. Second choice would have been Pfizer. For sure. Exes grow apart. Becky has a lot of going, has a lot, wait, Becky has got a lot going on and has her own following to make content for. Becky is thriving. Yes, she's getting there. Um, let's see. You guys junk up the chat with, whoops, BS, then wonder why she can't read everything. Stop trolling. Yeah, that's true. Is working on yourself in therapy still a priority for you? Yes. Lucy, your hair went from straight to curly. That is so weird. Like, I wonder what causes that. What's the weirdest food combination that you like? A pickle and peanut butter actually taste really good together, I promise. 
Can you take your hair and pretend it's a beard? Like this moment? Like, is this what, what's, what you're asking for? I don't know what you're asking for. Oh my God, I'm dead. Okay. Hormones can affect hair texture. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. I'm just reading what you guys are saying. Becky is such a nice person. She really is. Am I moving in with Destiny and Dana? No, 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 no. Did Becky have to push you to get the vaccine because of your anxiety? No. I wasn't going to let anyone push me because I know, like, who I am as a person. You can't push me to do shit. <laughs> Just saying. Um, I make my own choices. I have my own opinions and beliefs. And I knew that getting the vaccine was something I was gonna have to do. I feel like every single person on this planet needs to get vaccinated. I was just anxious because I've never had a flu shot before, not even a regular flu shot ever, because I've never had the flu. I've had the flu one time and it was actually swine flu in high school. Fun fact. So it's the only time I've ever had like the actual flu. And, um, yeah, I was just nervous to get a vaccine. Like, it's not the big of a deal, but I'm I'm glad I did. Everyone definitely needs to. Which side of your family is Portuguese? My mom's side. When will you see Destiny and Dana next? I'm honestly not sure. Did you wash your hair or just use really dry shampoo? <laughs> just kidding. It does look fab today. I washed my hair and I actually used conditioner. Yay me. <sighs> Do you regret moving on from Becky so fast? No, everything happens for a reason. Swine flu. Oh my gosh, those were the days. I know you're telling me. Hi, Amber. I've been subscribed for years now, and I wanted to say that I'm wishing you the best. Can you say hi to my BF and I? P.S. His name is Isaac. Hello, Isaac. Hello. Um, and hello, Dez. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys for the support. I appreciate you guys so much. Truly do. Um, yes, yes, yes. Oh, wow, Rosie, you've had swine flu and COVID? It's crazy. Swine flu felt horrific. Like, I literally thought I was dying. Like, it was so, it was an absolute no on my end. It was horrible. Horrible. But, um, yeah, I'll definitely preach get vaccinated until I'm blue in the face. For real. And, um... I know it's everyone's choice, but it's like, how could you not want to choose? Like, I feel like choosing the vaccine is the right choice. So I'm like confused. Like, how could you not want to choose that? Like, you could be saving your life. You could be saving your grandma's life. You could be saving your mom's life, a stranger's life, a cousin, your partner. Like, you have a less chance of getting covid if you have the vaccine, but if you do get COVID, you have like very low chance of dying from it. Like, I just don't understand how you can not want that. Like, that's so weird to me, but everyone's opinion's different. I get it. It is what it is like, but I just need people to like figure it out because this is never going to end. My mom genuinely thinks the vaccine will kill you. Oh my God. Oh my god, I, I, I'm just going to be respectful. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> um, does it make you sad you can't talk about any current or potential romantic relationships? I know people love to be able to share their happiness with the world. Amy, you are so right. Um, but I think from this point on, 
whenever I do get into a relationship, I will no longer talk about it on here. It just sucks. Like, a lot. Because you're right. Like, if you're in love, you want to tell people. And if you're happy, you want to tell people. And you just want to share that. And I unfortunately have... It's kind of like a privilege in a way. And I've gotten that privilege sort of taken from me. And it sucks. For sure. So when and if I ever do get married, you guys will literally have no idea. So that's a thing. <laughs> that's a very interesting thing. Um, thank you for the positive vaccine talk. Get vaxxed. Of course. Very, very important. Um... And I think it's so funny when, like, these anti-vaxxers, they're like, I just need to do more research. And I'm over here like, what, Dr. Google? Like, is that your research? You're going to ignore the actual doctors who did the research? And you're going to do research in what, Dr. Google? What are you really going to be researching? Like, honestly, <laughs> I'm really confused. Um, how does it make you feel that so many people find comfort in your videos, even though it's usually at your expense slash not in a way that's supportive? Wait, people find comfort in my videos for a negative reason? I am concerned. Like, how could you possibly find comfort in something that's like a negative thing? When someone says they find comfort in my channel, I take that as like a good thing because I know how it feels to like, um, be comforted by a person. And it's usually a good thing. Can you do more cooking videos? I want to. Things Amber won't discuss, relationships, family, finances, health, this is her call, may affect her viewership, but got to respect the personal boundaries. It is so true. It is so true. Like some of you guys are so kind and like understanding when it comes to stuff like that. Oh, is that like really Feudy Beauty if it is? Oh my God, I love you. Hi. Hi. Um, oh my God, it got me all flustered, Feudy Beauty. What were we saying? What were we saying? Like, I have a bunch of people in my brain. What was I saying? Oh, my God. <laughs> mm. What were we talking about, for real? Is it weird how thousands of people watch you? Yes, it's very weird. Oh, my God. So, what is your channel now? q and is about nothing? Pretty much, right? No. I feel like we're just in a weird area on my channel right now, and I'm totally fine with that. Um, what time is it, by the way? What time is it? Um, I don't know. We're just at a weird point in my videos and or my channel, and we're just embracing it, you guys. Like, okay, so it's 10. That means I have to get off of here soon. Um, there's something I have to do, but, uh, yeah. And the people who are supportive and being patient with me during this time, like I literally appreciate it a lot. Truly. Um, I might go live tomorrow for an extra moment because I feel bad that this one's short and like, I really do want to try harder. Like if I notice like a live stream for me was less than usual, like this one, I feel like it's just like a little bit shorter, kind of blander. So I think I will go live tomorrow for a little bit longer. Um, obviously members chat, of course, members chat always. Um, oh no, Shauna, I hope you feel better. Hello, Ryan and fans from Australia. Hello, hello, hello. What time tomorrow? Oh, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy. I love that name. I love the name Lucy. Wait, I might name my daughter Lucy, low-key. 
Wait, should I? Am I ever even going to have a daughter? Probably not. But if I do, that is... Oh, I love the name Lucy. I don't know what it is. Okay. What time, though? I don't know. I don't know. I want it to be, like, I'll just be your daughter. I love that. Um... I want it to be during the day. I don't think I want it at nighttime. So, yeah. Yeah, I definitely am dull right now. But it's not wifey era. We have moved past that. <sighs> Someone said a dildo? What'd you do? Wait. <laughs> I just bought a new dildo that's also a vibrator. And it's working wonders for me. It'll take your mind off everything. Make the investment, LOL. Okay. I love that. I love that for you. <laughs> this is the lamest timeline. Oh my God. I know. Okay. 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 You know what? I think I'm going to like set a day where I film like a random video for you guys. Like a what I ate today moment or an eat with me moment or watch me cook or watch me do my makeup. And then I'm going to vlog I just need to figure it out. You guys, please just like motivate me, push me, keep bugging me about it. I feel like I need to be bugged is what it is because if I'm not, then I'm just not going to do it. So yeah, bug me a little bit, but be nice about it because if you're mean about it, then I'm not going to want to do it. But um, yeah, I just need to get in the right like mental and it's been months since I've filmed, I feel like. Oh, you love a grocery haul? Me too. Love a grocery haul. Um, maybe we could do a grocery haul. That actually sounds so fun. Okay, okay. I'm going to go now. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for the live stream. It was great. I promise we'll try to make this better. Because sitting here just talking about the same things, I love it. I don't mind it. It helps distract me from, like, other things. But... I know a lot of you are finding them boring, which a lot of you also like them, but still, I just feel like we need to spice it up a bit, um, and I need to figure, figure out how, so, okay, I love you guys, 